Bring the thunder. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Regan Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, I was going to kind of get the truck uncovered here, and I got to put that copper gasket that's on the wall over there into the driver's side on this side. So we're going to probably do that. And we're going to take my new arches for next year Christmas display and put them in the back garage so they're out of the way. That's what we're going to start with right now. Because you always got to start with something you do. Oh, frig. Watch where you step, Captain. Not a bad day out today. Sun's trying to come out. It's pretty mild. Still got a friggin' lake over here. Man, we've had a lot of rain. Anybody around this area would understand that. So let's throw these up here with the other ones. We gotta collect these over the next year here for my Christmas display. And you'll see why when that time comes. So make sure you stay tuned for that because you'll wanna see it. There we go, one less thing to put away. Ah, hey, ah. Ah, oh, what happened? I guess we don't need that here either. This can go too. This is my reacher stick for putting up Christmas lights. Look at the length of that thing. Eh? Decent. Should probably undo the rest of these extension cords. Probably put away these Christmas lights. Still got some Christmas lights out. Actually, while I'm out here, we could probably undo that. These are board cords, so they gotta go back. Look at. The flowers are confused. It's spring? What is that from? Okay, that's weird. Really weird. And it goes straight down in a hole. Wow. Anyone got any ideas? Leave a comments down below. Of course I knocked off my tube. Don't want to do that. Can't do anything around here without dogs barking. What is that from? That's weird. I'm just gonna shoot these back to the neighbors. I'll be right back. Let that heater heat up in there for a bit. It's pretty juicy around here. Hey, what the f is going on here? <sighs> Woo, there we go. All right, so now that we got those quick chores done, we can pull this cover off and have a gander under here. Haven't been under the old girl in a while here. Hey, look, the cover's keeping the dirt off her. That's good. Hey, okay. Don't even hardly have to clean her, Jim. Hood. Decent. Open her up. And there she is. Haven't seen you in a minute there, Betsy. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad, actually. I do have to take this bracket off. Should get a little bit brighter light in here. You guys see okay? Probably. Holy, first time. That doesn't happen very often. Of course the battery's dead. Why wouldn't it be? Hey, one. Oh my God, these can batteries. Not exactly sure why they gotta grab so hard. Jolly Rancher just to get them off. Of course I can't get that one. Nope. Just so everybody knows, this truck is standard and metric. What the F? Half inch, let's bring a half inch. Bring a 14, let's just walk over here. I don't want a hundred goddamn tools out. 14 it is. Perfect. We'll keep that there just in case. Now if you're wondering, I did do the other side in the fall because it was leaking pretty bad. And now this side started leaking, but I put shitty ass gaskets in it. And we all know how well that works. It don't. 
I was in a rush to do this, obviously, because it's winter time. But I was sitting on the couch inside today and I thought to myself, I'm kind of bored right now. Maybe we should go out and do something with my YouTube people. See if we can't get something accomplished today. So that's what I'm doing. So we're not gonna take that one all the way out. We'll just do that so it holds the exhaust up. So now we're gonna need my other wrench, which is that one. I can't really remember. Is it this guy? I don't think so, I thought it was longer. This guy maybe? No, that's too big. Is this guy? No, I don't think that's it either. Let's see. Can't see. Nope. I'll tell you one thing, we do need a bigger light in here though. And I know I have it somewhere. There it is. Oh. Through this bad boy. Hanger from above. Wait until you get brightened by this thing. This thing's gonna blind us, Jim. Blinded by the light. Maybe. Not working anymore? Well, we're not blinded by the light anymore. Blinded by the light. Help if I plugged it in. Wake up like a douche. Another rumor in the night. Look at that. Okay, 9 16 How about now? Sounds good. Oh yeah. That one's not even tight, Jim. Oh yeah. Well, kind of was tight, I guess. Just not super tight. Look how easy it's coming away from the doodad. Oh, those things are good. Do you hear the breakaway on them? They got those teeth that lock them in. I can't remember what they're called, but man, oh man, oh man, oh man, they work good. So we're gonna take them all right out, except for the two end ones, which is probably a good thing. These were loose. That's probably another reason why they started leaking. If I get my ratchet thing, I should be able to get to them. 7 16ths. Extension, please. And four. A downgrade adapter. Upgrade adapter. 10 for it. A doodad. 10 for it. And in we go. How you doing? Right, can I get in there? Maybe. Nope, can I get in here? There it is. It's all the way you hold your tongue, Captain. Much easier. And I just gotta get it out. There we go. Two. Go for the back one. Oh yeah, I already loosened that one, didn't I? Three. Very back. Come on, baby. Sit very back. There we go. So now, let me, I might have went a little far on that. Let's go back in a little bit. So, you just gotta get out that one, which is a very slow one because it's a hand bomber all the way out because it's right behind the tube. Here it goes. We're getting her. Decent. Pretty right we are. How you doing? Pretty good. Thanks for asking. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. There he said. Ah. Yeah. 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 Son of a bitch. Ah. Oh, yeah. That one sucks. More. 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 There it is. Perfect. Now we should be able to get this gasket right out of there. Give her a little loosen job. She should lift right up. Pick tool. Heater can go off. Exhaust gasket. There we go. Out one piece. There it is. Blew right in the center, Jim. And it come loose, so you can see where it was going. Right there. So, now that that's out, you can go in the garbage. How you doing? And this one can come out. We're not messing around this time. We're putting Mr. Gasket Copper in. Just like the other side, and she hasn't farted once since I did it. Look how easy that fell in there. Why have I been putting this off? Quarry minds wanna know. Cause I can't even tell you why, to be honest with you. Oh, careful. Everything's going for a fly. That's going, this is going. I can shine right my beak. Captain, that doesn't stick very good. Here, can we get it up here? There, that works. Can you see? Probably not. Me neither. Can't have leaky exhaust gaskets when we try to sell a truck, eh? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet, probably not. I'll probably, summer will come, and I'll be like, I'm gonna go for a drive in the old rig. I gotta jack her up and get underneath too and check. I wanna check the training mount and the pinion angle again. Cause I have a bad feeling that something went out of whack when I blew the transmission up and drive shaft out of it. I think I tweaked something. Cause I got a brand new drive shaft that's, it's been all balanced and everything else. And now I get a vibration and I didn't have it before I blew it. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. And we're gonna find out together we are. The other thing I'm not sure of is why the bolts in that one thing were kind of cocked over looking. Wonder if I should change that one out. I gotta change the knock sensors and 
the pressure, uh, the oil pressure setting unit in my 2007 Chevy Silverado as well. So we should do that together. There, there they are, right there. Perfect, look at that, I got an extra one. Right there. That's what I used in here anyways, the Proform header bolts, wedge lock. They're freaking awesome. They got little teeth on them, that teeth together and they make for a good deal. So let's get this one out of here because it looks cocked over. It's right where the header was rubbing against it. So we'll change that one out. Not that I really have to, but I'm going to anyways, because that one went in a lot nicer. So let's get these snug back up. We'll start in the center and work our way out. So we'll get this one in. Wrong way. All right, that didn't work too good. What the F? Oh well, it brings them in a little bit anyway. This one in. Ten more. This one. Ten more. Ten more. There it goes. Why wouldn't it? Magnet. Oh, don't have to. Look at that. There it is right there. Okay, ratchet. We'll give ourselves just a little extra reach just so it can wobble wobble around. Here we go. You watching? Probably not. For f sakes. How did that even fall? Ooh, that feels good. Next. Oh, okay. Well, snap on. How you doing? That's a good one. That was hardly any pressure too. Well, he's replacing a socket and a bit. Okay, where were we? 7 16 Don't tell him that I was using a big bar on a little tiny socket. Okay, that's, that's our secret. Don't be fucking racking it. Okay, let's try this one. Careful. I don't know if this will get in there. That's why I was using the small one. Good? Oh yeah. That's beautiful. There we go. Next. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't want to break them off in the head, that's for sure. That's good. Next, let's get the inchworm in here. Terrible. Easy. Good. Next. Oh, that feels good. Get this one in here. Okay, sounds good. Next. Good. Perfect. Okay. Crack it back on. How you doing? Bolt down here. Perfect. Bolt in the head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Perfect. Perfect. Throw it around. Perfect. 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 So that's it for that side. So now what we're gonna do while we're here is we're gonna take the light, slap it over here, I'm just gonna double check this side because I changed this already, but I haven't checked the torquiness, torquiness of them in a minute. So we might as well do that while we're here. Not bad, feels pretty good. Can't get to that one. Two hands, why wouldn't you? That one still feels good. A lot one was loose. Good. Oh my. F. You can't get on that one. So we're gonna need to check this guy manually yeah it definitely needed a couple turns there we go we gotta check this one back here manually so actually the driver's side is the easier one yeah that was loose good yeah feels like it and we gotta check the back one manually if we can get to it stretch oh yeah i got a little ratchet for that one forget about that that one is the one that's i had to make a certain one up for look for a cutoff right there there it is. So what you gotta do with this one is you gotta get your ass in here somewhat. You gotta put this on here, like so. And then you gotta put the wrench on here. And then you gotta go like this. Oh yeah. And it was loose, so I'm glad I checked it. Mm, there we go. So if you got a 350 Chevy like me and a square body, you wanna make yourself one of them right there. That works good, you just gotta give her one of those. All right, so there we go. Manifold gasket changed. Header gasket changed. Whatever the hell you want to call it, changed. So we'll set that stuff there. We'll take this light out of here that's brighter than decked. We'll take this light out of here and we'll see if we fix the problem. If the battery's not dead, which it probably is. It's been sitting for a minute. Ready? Cold start. Bring the thunder. I said, bring the thunder. Oh, 
That don't sound good, Jim. You gotta tighten them up some more. That sounds absolutely horrible. Sometimes you gotta let them warm up too and get that gas in there. We'll let her warm up a little bit and then we'll give her another snug. These old friggin' throttle body injections, they're rich on old pricks when they're cold. Whew, ain't she ever rich. That's horrible. I'm gonna figure out where it's coming from. That's bad. I might have to buy another set of gaskets, double them up on that one. No. Hell, you want to die? Hop in there. Whoo! Well, that as far as we're gonna get today. I obviously got to get another gasket. Really, I should take the header off, flatten it, machine it so it's smooth, and then put it back on. But I ain't taking the exhaust apart, so we'll get ourselves another gasket, double her up, see where it's leaking. It'll give me a mark here now where it's leaking, and we'll tighten her back down again. So we'll be back to this on another episode. So stick around for that, and we'll see you then.